The fire service has what we call a fire medal. It's the highest civilian award we can give to any civilian. Um, as you guys know, this year, 2021 and 2020 has been very different. Um, we've had to adapt to things that we never saw coming or anticipated. A lot of that we couldn't have done without the help and guidance of Dr. Whitwer and his office. Um, they were on speed dial for us anytime we thought we had potential exposures. They helped us through all the parts of COVID, um, led Captain Simica and worked together with him to make sure that our district stayed safe. None of our online personnel contracted COVID as of today. And a lot of that is because of the work of Dr. Whitwer. So we wanted to present Dr. Whitwer with the fire medal. And this is the highest civilian award. Um, it's a medal for you. Uh, your name will also be posted at the headquarters station at station 61 on a plaque. I have to say that was totally unexpected. I had no idea of, of that. I, you know, well, thank you very much. <laughs> we give a firefighter of the year award, a fire officer award, and then at that time, if there's any medals that our um, personnel are deserving of, we award those at that time too. So this happens through a nomination process. This is a nomination of your peers. Um, this year we have a firefighter of the year, and I'm just going to read a little bit about what their peers say about them. This person grows consistently and gets better as a firefighter and TRT member. They're a solid firefighter and TRT member. They respond back to the majority of TRT calls. Their knowledge, compassionate, and consistently anticipate the medical needs of their patients and their medic. They never complain or engage in destructive talk. They, they are trusted to finish assigned tasks and make strategic and tactical decisions safely and quickly. They're the go-to firefighter that everyone relies on and trusts. This person is kind of the unsung hero of District 6, where you don't always know that they're around, but you always see the work that they're getting done. They continually give back to the community by volunteering for Santa's Posse Memory Makers on a regular basis and other volunteer opportunities within the community. This year's Firefighter of the Year goes to Jason Dunnigan. is consistently in a great mood and always makes time to check in on the crews. They're one of the most responsive people in the fire service and constantly looked up to by all. And this is going to take me a little bit because it's a pretty long list that people put in for this person. His communication as a training captain has always stood out and this year was no exception. With COVID dominating the district's planning for the year, he took it all in stride and was a champion for the crews. We have zero line members who have tested positive at this point for COVID-19, and there's no way that's a coincidence. He has many talents, including being a father, grandfather, cook, barbecue master, musician, instructor, and mentor. His emails are concise, informative, and compassionate. His expertise and commitment are a major reason why we continue to emerge relatively unscathed in a dangerous time. This year's Officer of the Year is Eric Simica. Our personnel do things that um, they would consider are just doing their job we would consider it extraordinary and when those things happen the district wants to recognize it so we have what's called a meritorious service medal it's a medal that's awarded who's for employees whose action conduct or achievement places them not only with the high standing in the fire service but also brings credit upon the district I think none of us could disagree that this year Captain Simica has brought credit upon the district and represented the fire service in the highest regard by protecting our safety through the COVID pandemic. So this year we'd like to award Captain Eric Simica with the Meritorious Service Medal. Speak on behalf of uh, the collective bargaining unit from IAFF 452. Uh, the Fire District 6 administration team was nominated for an award and Commissioner Lofsbeck and myself felt that the department deserved to be recognized 
and our administrative staff uh, deserve to be recognized for their work in making Fire District 6 a great place to work.